friends, we're going to do a quick little video for you. The students and I are getting ready to install some of these cylinder heads. Some of you guys are already getting it done. And upon review, we thought this is a really good opportunity to talk about fasteners and how important it is to understand what we're doing and where we get into trouble. So we have students that come from so many different backgrounds. So it's just like you techs that are in the dealership where some have turned wrenches for years and some are doing something for the very first time. Jackie, this one's yours. Is this your first time here at the college? Yeah. yeah you did it on where you get into trouble in the real world. So anybody watching this might say, okay, I'm not interested in a Harley or you're super interested in that, but you, you gotta think about where you can use that everywhere, right? So let's get in here. Let's focus on the, on the stiff. So Harley head bolts here, you see there's only four of them with this much real estate that they're trying to clamp down. And it would be really easy to take a fastener like this and to just go to the service manual and go to the spec page and find out what the torque spec is. On Harley Davidson's, let's look at the manual here. There's a sequence. Not only do we want to do an order, which is most every cylinder head out there, but they're saying that we are going to torque to one spec, torque to another, and then we're gonna do a 90 degree with torque angle, okay? But, guys, what did you find out by reading all the directions? Jesse, you've done yours. How about you take over on this one? What did you find out about these fasteners that you had never seen before? That you have to put clean oil on the threads from the, not the bolt, but actual threads on the cylinder. And where else? And on the surface, of the, on the bolt right there on the shoulder. All right, so we want to put oil here. Grab that assembly loop from over there. I think it's, it's right oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah. So what they're saying is to properly install this, you want to put oil on the shoulder, is what Harley Davidson's call that. Some people call that the face of the bolt. And then look over here to one that's, that's ex, uh, we've opened or exposed now. And then you'd want to put a little bit of oil on here on the threads. Now, do you guys remember why? What's so important about putting the oil on there? So it doesn't hydraulic lock. Hydraulic or it doesn't well, that's what we're trying to avoid. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't corrode and uh, all connect into one Get piece. Get stuck, like seize together. Yeah, seize together. Right, okay, but yeah. when, if you remember from our Snap-on training, Snap-on has some crazy great curriculum on fasteners and torque, right? And they said that when you're required by the manufacturer to put oil on here, what that's actually doing is that now is that making that act as a bearing surface. So when Harley-Davidson said torque to this and this pattern and 120 inch pounds, then torque to, what was it on this one, uh, 15 to 17 pounds, if you don't have that oil on there, you're dragging metal to metal across there and you're gonna end up possibly getting a false torque. That means that you will think that you've done it right. The torque wrench will come around and you'll be like, Bruh, yep, 15 pounds, oh, okay, mark my 90, Bruh, 90, and you're gonna think you're done, but if you don't have the oil on there, you have a false torque because it's dry, it's dragging across there. So that acts as a bearing surface. So that is, that's tip number one. You have to know when you're supposed to oil those if it's part of the torque spec. Now the manuals have done a lot better in later years where even in the torque spec alone, where you aren't looking at how to do it, it will usually say a note or a tip or something about where to oil it. Does that make sense? But you gotta think about this. And here's why we made this video, because we were talking about this. Techs get into trouble because they're like, I've put a million heads on, I don't need to know how to do it, I just need to know the torque spec, and that's where you can get into trouble. So my recommendation, especially for new techs, let's look at the manual here, is that you got a couple different choices. You need to follow through like a checklist. If you're new, you want to go ahead and think about step one, do it and be done with it. Step two, and so on and so on. You can see here, step three, lightly coat the threads in the bottom face. Oh, notice in this manual, they're calling it a face. But in the other Harley manual, in that Road King, they called it the shoulder. Uh, the head bolts with clean oil, wipe any excess off, and so on and so on. So I told you that I like to take my repair order and I will grab the manual. And if I'm focusing on this area, I'll just jot a couple notes in the back of the work order. Page 343 or whatever, the torque specs, oil. And then I come over to the vehicle and I'm just going to do the work. That's how I work really fast and efficient on that. Make sense? But I want to talk about where we get into trouble. So this is another reason we got talking is that the other thing about 
fasteners and nuts and bolts you have to understand is what you're doing. And I was telling a story where I had a tech one time that uh, put a motor together for me and it failed and the head gaskets were leaking. And it sucks, warranty work sucks, comeback suck or whatnot. And so when we went to go ahead and take that motor back apart, the head bolts weren't kissed all the way down. There was like a gap in there. I'm like, what the heck, how could that happen? Well, what we were learning is that tech, instead of oiling the threads, was just pouring the oil in here. And now we got a whole nother thing. I talk about this all the time. It drives some people crazy and some people love it. About every mechanic should know this. Oil will not compress, right? Yep. If I fill this up with oil and I'm not paying attention, I put a lot of oil in here. What's gonna happen is the stud, let's go ahead and come around the side here. So that stud, if there's oil in there, it's gonna get to a point, you gotta think, this has to go through the whole head. So we're only gonna grab onto, say, that many threads. If I have oil in there to where it could hydraulically lock, I'm gonna have a bad problem. You have to put a lot of oil in there, but apparently that's what somebody did, okay? Wasn't paying attention. This is, this is not good. You just wanna lube that up that way. I drew, let's go that whiteboard. Remember I drew that little drawing to kind of explain it? So this is just talking about any nut and bolt. I understand there's a lot of room in here, but we're, we're talking about theory to where we know that oil will not compress so let's say you're working on a bike where you didn't have a lot of room in there and they wanted you to oil it and you put oil in there and it filled that capacity. You can see here that when, here's a stud, here's the bolt, when done right, it's going to take that shoulder and clamp that down, compressing that gasket or that cover and it's gonna, it's gonna be done right, right? If you had oil in there to where it hydraulically locks, you can see where the bolt shoulder won't hit the part that it's supposed to compress. And here's where the problem is, and listen to me on this. You guys gotta, gotta get this. Both of these, your torque wrench will click. You will get a false torque. If you don't use oil, you will get a false torque. So what's the only way to really do this right? Read the manual have to know what you're working with right you got to use those resources new newer techs myself anybody I mean I feel like this is really important I feel like fasteners not being torqued properly and not understanding this are big problems in the industry and then you get a tech that says this you know says well I know I torqued it yeah you might have torqued it and you might have got it to click but you might have a false torque so let's think about this anything that you tighten anything you put together could you get your little eyeballs down there and look and make sure that that shoulder is at least all the way down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a good way for you to kind of deal with that. Do you think when you're dealing on really rusty nuts and bolts and you didn't take the time to chase them or tap them or whatnot, maybe there's old Loctite in there? Yeah. Do you think old Loctite is something that could cause you to bind up? Yep. And then it, the, the torque wrench does not know there's rust. The torque wrench doesn't know there's Loctite. Torque wrench doesn't know there's oil. What the torque wrench recognizes is the amount of effort that it's seeing on that wrench. And it's saying, yep, you've just applied 30 pounds or whatever that is. All right, cool stuff. Yep. Yeah. Man, you know, guys, we've talked and talked and talked and talked about fasteners. I mean, until we're blue in the face with it. We keep coming back on it, but this is a big area that I think uh, techs could really benefit from digging into a little deeper. Learn about it. All I got for this tip. Keep wrenching. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Make it a great day and keep wrenching.